This presentation is brought to you by Sovereign Laboratories, manufacturers of the most bioavailable colostrum on the market, clinically proven to heal leaky gut syndrome. Hi, do you have a good day so far? Yeah. Good, because I have bad news for you. <laughs> I'm going to present for you the research uh, done at the Belzhansky Foundation. And it's a very different uh, foundation from everything you have uh, heard of if you are not already uh, familiar with the foundation. We are not asking you to uh, put money into research for pharmaceutical companies. We are going to present you the research that we have done already with natural compounds. And this year, last year I should say, we have just turned 40 years of uh, the time of what signed the war on cancer. Do you remember this? 1971, Nixon signs the war on cancer. And then what happened besides spending a lot of money and having a lot of marches and so on to fund more research? Well, it did not work. All of us here, we know somebody who has cancer. And brace yourself, because the worst is yet to come. The number, number of cancer is going to double by 2030, according to the American Cancer Society. Bad food, pollution, aging population, perfect storm perfect cancer storm. Maybe it is about time to look at the work of my late father, Dr. Mirko Beljanski, who was a PhD at the Pasteur Institute in Paris, France, and was one of the first scientists to look at the environment as a cause and as a solution to cancer. I have 20 minutes today, so I'm not going to get into the details on how we discovered those plant extracts. But to put it in a nutshell, he found two extracts, Pao Pereira, which comes from South America, and Rovolfia vomitoria, which comes from uh, Africa, which have strong anti-cancer property. And that's not enough. They have selective anti-cancer property meaning they are able to selectively recognize cancer cells and avoid to get into healthy cells. That means activity and that means absence of toxicity. Because if you don't have a cancer cell, you are going to pee the products between, between, beside, in, within hours. So it's even more visible on the, here on the UV light. You can see here that the product is going specifically onto those cancerous cells, and it is not going outside of the cancerous cells. It remains outside of the healthy cells. It is naturally fluorescent. We are able to see exactly where it goes and can confirm that it doesn't touch the healthy cells. So once in the States, I had the opportunity to work with a number of great American institutions who were very interested into this research, considering the general failure on can on the war of the war on cancer. So we worked specifically with Kansas University Medical Center on ovarian cancer which is a very difficult cancer to work with and one of the deadliest of all gynecological cancer. The first thing that we wanted to see, that they wanted to see and to confirm that, that there would not be any effect and any toxicity for healthy cells. So here you have first the healthy cells and you can see that they are not, almost not affected by both extract here, the paupera or the Rovolfia vomitoria. In comparison, you can see that those cancerous cell lines are very much affected 
by their growth is very much affected than those of the healthy cell line. Then they wanted to see if there would be a synergy of action with chemotherapy, because chemotherapy is a gold standard. Doctors in hospital cannot even imagine to have a treatment without chemotherapy. But chemotherapy very often fails the patient. It's not the patient who fails the chemotherapy. It is the chemotherapy who fails the patient. So it was really important to see if there would be a synergy of action. And you can see here that every time the red line, which is here, carboplatin plus revolfior, carboplatin plus paupera, always goes above the blue line, which represents carboplatin alone. Sometimes it is way above the blue line. So yes, there is always a very nice synergy of action. Then we wanted to see in vivo, in mice, how it was going to work. And we were able to see that it was indeed destroying, the, reducing nicely the tumor, especially the combination here of Pau Pereira and Car Carboplatin was giving the best results. It was completely destroying the acids, the cancer cells in the acids. Here you see everything is gone. This is the control, this is the carboplatin alone, this is the Pau Pereira alone. When you put together, nothing left. This is beautiful. And here the cells in the acids also, everything is gone. So the carboplatin, it works, it works alone, and it works in synergy here with carboplatin, both the Pau Pereira and the Rovolfia vomitoria. The results were published by Kansas University in peer-reviewed papers, confirming that the Pau Pereira alone is able to destroy uh, the tumor grows up to 70% of the uh, uh, acids, 55%. But when you combine with the carboplatin, then you have a diminution that reach 97%. This is huge. This is huge, and all the acids are gone. This is really something tremendous. If, there was, if it was a synthetic drug, that would be probably on the first page of the New York Times. But it is not a patentable drug, therefore nobody cares, except the patients, because it can make a difference. Here's the Revolfia also. Beautiful results, 90% up to 97%. Or here also of the acids are gone. So also it makes sense to combine the Pau Pereira and the Revolfia for the patient. Now one of the big, big problems for of cancer is that cancer comes back. Cancer comes back because of cancer stem cell. When you the chemotherapy doesn't kill the cancer stem cells. In a tumor, you have a mix a mixed bag, a tumor is kind of mixed bag of regular cancer cells and what is called cancer stem cells. They do resist the chemotherapy. They are able to reproduce again a new tumor and they are back to the initial problem. So it was very important issue to know whether if those extracts would also address cancer stem cells. <coughs> and yes, they do. Here you can see 100 microgram by milliliter. All the cancer stem cells are gone. And here also with the Revolfia vomitoria, same thing. They are all gone, nothing left. So after that, uh, Kansas University wanted to see if it could work, those extracts could work with another biggie of cancer which is pancreatic cancer. And also it's a very deadly one and a very one for which the hospital doesn't have much to offer. So that's why they were interested also to see if those extracts could do something in synergy with gemcitabine. Again, looking for the synergy of action. And you can see again that the red lines, the combination is always coming above 
the blue line, meaning the combination inhibits more cancer cells than the gemcitabine here the alone. After that, we moved in vivo with the mice. And again, you can see that the power here gemcitabine is doing a little better than the control. Paupera 20 is doing 20 milligrams is doing much better than the gemcitaline alone, but the best results come with a synergy of action. And here also the gemcitabine is not adding much, but the, the, the combination is doing the best giving the best results. So again, those results were uh, published by the foundation. Both extracts do not contain low toxicity, no toxic effect ob observed um, in vitro. The strong inhibition of the pancreatic cancer tumors and uh, a nice synergy of action with the uh, uh, chemotherapy, allowing a dose reduction of the chemotherapy, hence reducing the toxicity. Rovolfia, same thing, very nice synergy uh, effect, and the metastasis, no metastasis with the Rovolfia. That's also very, very interesting result. Now, after that, we wanted to see uh, cancer stem cells. Would, the, would have we been lucky with uh, ovarian cancer stem cell or is, was it something that we could reproduce? And we could. Here you see pancreatic cancer stem cells at 100 microgram, everything is gone here with the Paupera and with the Revolfia, 200 microgram by milliliter, everything is gone. Meaning if there is no cancer stem cell, the chances that the cancer comes back are much, much less. This is really a breakthrough. Is it working on other kind of cancer? According to my father's la la last uh, of his 133 publications, uh, these extracts are not gender or organ specific. They work at the level of the DNA. So they go everywhere in your DNA from head to toe where you see a cancerous cell. You see here you have human liver, here thyroid, here breast, and every time there was a nice inhibition, both by the paupera or the Rovolfia vomitoria of the cancer cells. But we wanted to work specifically on prostate cancer. We had the opportunity to do so at Columbia University with Dr. Katz, who used to be the head of holistic urology at Columbia. And uh, so we, we, we put, the, he also researched the two extracts and confirmed that both were able to destroy cancer stem cells. He went on to see if, for, for study, prostate uh, cancer cells that of advanced cancer which doesn't respond to chemotherapy, doesn't respond to hormonal treatment. And even those very advanced ca prostate cancer cells were destroyed here by the paupera. We also saw with this study that the paupera was able to inhibit the inflammation. NF-kappa-B is a signaling for inflammation and we had a very, very nice inhibition here of the inflammation. Considering that the inflammation is linked to a lot of disease, this is also a very important piece of information. Then we went on to, to work with a group of Japanese doctors who are very interested in what they call targeted therapies. They take some blood sample from their patient and they test against a number, a panel of products to see if they, those products are going to be able to kill cancer cells 
specifically for those patients. So that means that the, the pa patient is not going to fail the therapy again because it is kind of pre-tested on their tumor to know if it's going to work or not. So we worked with, uh, with them and uh, Oncobel Pro, which is a combi professional line and a combination of Paupera, Rovolfia, and our specific Ginkgo biloba, was able to induce apoptosis. Now we have been working for uh, uh, several months with all Japanese doctors. We have received information from about 40 patients suffering from different kinds of cancer that again and again and again, this combination of herbs was inducing apoptosis. RGCC is available to any doctor. I mean, this, they, can take a, they have to take a sample of blood, send it to the lab, and the lab will test against whatever panel of, uh, of, of drugs that uh, the doctor requests. So this is a great opportunity to see uh, if what the products that are proposed, the therapies which is offered to you will work or not. This is very, I'm very specific, most specifically proud of those results, considering that those products almost disappeared in France when uh, the French police tried to destroy this, this amazing, beautiful research. There is tomorrow, I will give you, have more time and give you more details about what happened in France. But uh, I am very grateful for America to have given us the opportunity to continue here and uh, continue, especially considering that they know that this may be the solution for cancer. I don't know if you remember the cover of magazine of 2004 from research, but they were saying that there was a way to, find, to win the war on cancer, that was to have molecules which would, would be less toxic and more selective. And that's exactly what my father found back in the 80s at the Pasteur Institute in France. So what this, that's what the work we are doing at the Belchansky Foundation. Please support the foundation if you can. Uh, the extracts have been, for all this research have been provided by Natural Source International. The booth is over there at the entrance, uh, next to the one of the Belgiansky Foundation, where you can find copies of all the publications I presented to you today. And this is the work of the foundation just on time, I believe. Right? <laughs>